Assalamu alaikum my dear students I hope all of you are fine and doing well so here we will discuss about the Graham's law of diffusion this was the law basically proposed about the diffusion by the Thomas Graham so the Thomas Graham his tenure was from 1805 to 1869 and he was a Scottish chemist or basically we can say that an English scientist and he just formulated the law of diffusion this law is also known as the Graham's law and he just put forward this law in 1846 so he just proposed the law about the diffusion according to this law the rate of diffusion of the gas is inversely related to the square root of its density so if we write the equation word here he just said that the rate of diffusion of the gas it is inversely proportional to the square root of the density of the gas so one thing that you guys need to remember what is the diffusion so in our previous lesson we have already learned the diffusion it is the simple spontaneous spreading of the gases intermixing or we can also say that the simple spreading of the gas molecules this is known as the diffusion and the process of diffusion always takes place from the region of high concentration to the region of low concentration this is the simple diffusion process and mainly it is the spontaneous the word spontaneous mean the process that happens by itself do not requires energy that process we call it as the spontaneous process and the Grahams put forward the theory about this process in which the rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the density of the gases so let's have a look for the derivation of the Graham's law of diffusion so here we have Graham's law of diffusion it is inversely proportional to the density and by removing this proportionality constant we just write over there k which is a constant of proportionality so the rate of diffusion multiplied by square root of the density is equal to k which is a constant value or we can also write that the rate is multiplied with the square root of the density which is equal to the constant value so here the rate of diffusion we can also write it as the r and if we have the mixture of gases then the rate is multiplied with the density of the gas square root and is equal to k so here k it is the constant for all gases constant for all gases and it is same for all the gases that are under studied and one thing that you have to keep in mind here we have to keep temperature and pressure constants so we are not going to change both these conditions of temperature and pressure for this purpose let's have a look on the relationship of the density and the molecular mass so here we have the equation in which the rate of diffusion of gas a to the rate of diffusion of gas b is equal to the square root of the ratio of molar mass of gas B to the molar mass of the gas A how we can calculate this so the derivation for this let's suppose we have two gases gas 1 and gas 2 and they are having their rates of diffusion like R1 and R2 and their densities are D1 and d2 now we have their rate of diffusion and we have their densities according to Graham's law we know that according to the law of diffusion we can write this the rate 
of diffusion of gas 1 multiplied by it with the density T1 and it is equal to K and the rate of diffusion of gas 2 multiplied by with the density 2 and it is equal to the constant value K. Now we just divide these two equations. So next step is to divide the equations. So when we just divide the equation 1 and 2, then what we gain? First we have R1 over R2, which is equal to the density D2 or the density D1 and their square roots. So we just gain this by rearranging. This is the equation 3. As we gain this equation, but according to the formula of density, we have density is equal to mass per unit volume. So where we can see that the density is directly proportional to the mass or the molecular mass. So density is directly proportional to the molar mass. So we can also put the molar mass as place of density. So R1 over R2 it is equal to the molar mass of gas 2 divided by the square root of the molar mass gas 1. So where m1 and m2 these are the simple molar masses of gas. So from this equation we can also have a simple relationship between the rate of diffusion of the gases as the rate of diffusion of the gases is equal to the ratio of the molar masses of the gas 2 to the square root of the molar mass of the gas 1. So this is a simple relationship between molar mass and density of the gases. I hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and I will get back to you guys soon. And the next topic that we will discuss it is the demonstration of the Graham's law that we will do with the help of an example. For that time, you guys have a good day and a laugh.